what's up you guys welcome back to my channel holy hair i'm laura ashley and today i'm just going to be talking about dealing with going back to work at the salon post covid 19 and just um you know with the virus still out there and clients being concerned about it i just wanted to talk about how i've been dealing with it and things that i've implemented at the salon that have helped me i've been back at work for about a week now so i have a lot of clients that are very different from each other and not everyone's the same so just taking everything client by client and really um, you know trying to take it one day at a time so the first thing that I want to talk about is how to make your clients feel comfortable I think that a lot of people are very nervous to leave the house now um, you know a lot of people haven't been going anywhere they haven't been doing anything so for them to now come in and get their hair done you want to just make your clients feel comfortable one of the things that we've implemented here at our salon we all rent our own individual rooms so one of the things that we've done is we've locked the door on the outside and we have a sign on the door so that when the client gets here they text their stylist so that we come to the door and let them in individually that way we don't have a group of people you know clients waiting in our waiting area outside so we just kind of eliminate the waiting area contamination and just have them come straight to our room. I typically double book when I have color clients. So I'll put on one client's color and then while she's processing, I'll put on another client's color and I'm pretty good with timing on that. So what I've been doing is the client that's processing, I have them wait in their car while they're processing. I have them set a timer on their phone or I just, you know, tell them what time to come back in. I actually have a client right now sitting out in her car processing because she just wanted to take the mask off while she processed her color. They can sit in their car, they can take their mask off and they can feel more comfortable. Us hairstylists, we use hospital grade disinfectant, barbicide. So um, I always sanitize everything. I'm very OCD, very clean. So that hasn't changed much with me. Sanitize all of our combs, brushes, everything like that with the hospital grade disinfectant. All of our surfaces, the shampoo bowl, the styling chair, the cart that we put color on, everything like that all gets sanitized. I also do have an air purifying fan in my room um, that purifies the air so that makes clients feel more comfortable another thing that i want to talk about that um, i have discovered works for me so the in front of your nose and mouth mask was like really really hot and i wore that for a couple days but it was just hot and i felt like i couldn't breathe it was sliding down and i just didn't really feel like it was working for me at the salon it was hard to talk and have a conversation with clients so i actually got a face shield i ordered this on amazon i will link it down below if you guys want to purchase one it's kind of cute because it has little eyelashes on them there was other ones that had like a beard on it and different things like that i have been actually really liking it i'll show you what it looks like on so this is my face shield as you can see it literally covers my entire face like it goes all the way down to the bottom of my neck which i will say i've hit it a couple times just doing hair um but i find that it even goes around my face so I actually do feel super protected with this on and my clients feel comfortable with me wearing this. And look at the cute little eyelashes. It's kind of fun. So I've been wearing this and it's actually, um, they're glasses that the shield just clips onto. And the nice thing is, is that you don't have to dispose of this. You can actually clean the inside and the outside every day so that um, you can reuse this and you don't have to throw it out every day. So it is kind of weird, like I almost sound like I'm echoing when I'm talking while I'm wearing this, but I do find that it's a lot more comfortable for me and I'm able to have conversations with my clients. They're able to see my facial expressions and they're able to see me 
And so I think a lot of people have felt more comfortable with me wearing the face shield. And we are allowed to wear either a shield or a mask, or we can wear both if we choose. There is a stylist um, that I work with that she's wearing both. She's doing the around her mouth and nose mask, and then she's also doing the shield. So it's totally personal preference. This is what I found has worked for me and has been the most comfortable working long hours in the salon and everything like that. So I do have this little candy dish of alcohol wipes. So these break into two and they're little individual alcohol wipes and I encourage all my clients to wipe down their phone when they're here just because our phones carry so much bacteria and I'm always conscious about you know keeping my phone clean and everything like that so usually clients are on their phone when they're getting their hair done so it's just a good idea to have them wipe down their phone with an alcohol wipe. I made these rules considering all the guidelines that we now have to follow and what I did was I just designed it bright and pretty on an online software that I use and I got this printed at my local Staples and it was only $10 so if you're looking to get a sign up in your salon um, just with some salon rules I would recommend getting it printed at your Staples that's in your area and then you can just go pick it up and throw it in a frame and you can just hang it anywhere at your space. I also always have essential oils going in my diffusers, so I have this Defender oil. This is from Simply Earth, and this is just the Immunity Boost one. Helps with, um, you know, just your immune system and helping you get uh, a little boost naturally. So this is a blend of clove, rosemary, lemon, eucalyptus, and cinnamon. It smells really good and I love to have it going in the diffuser in the air and it just smells really clean in here. It makes the clients feel really comfortable because it smells clean and um, it makes you feel good too. So I only do a couple drops of this. You don't want it to be too overpowering. So um, yeah, that's another thing that I've been doing. And I also have some hand sanitizer out for my clients. Another thing is it is kind of difficult to um, color the hair with the mask around their ears. So, and I have some clients that have the tie around ones, which obviously like you can't do hair if you have a tie around mask. So couple options you can have your client do. Um, if you have disposable masks, at your salon, I think that's a great idea to have just like a pack of disposable masks. I do not have those yet. I'm on a waiting list to get some and they're kind of hard to come by right now, big packs of them. So, or you can have them just take it off from their ears and you can have them hold it over their face and they can switch hands or, you know, you can kind of work it out that way. So that's something that I've found is, um, is helpful, especially like doing men's cuts and you're like trimming around their ears. It is kind of difficult to do that with the string around their ears. And also too, like not everybody wants to get a whole bunch of hair in their mask. So, um, you know, if they hold it up against their face, that prevents it from falling all in their mask. So they're not just like inhaling all their hair. So yeah, these are just a few tips that I have found that have helped me at the salon. Like I said, I've only been back at work for about a week during this time. And so I'm still trying to figure everything out one day at a time. And I'm trying to be completely conscious of everyone's health and my own health. And so I think just reassuring your clients, you know, that you are taking precaution and that you are aware of everything and that you're not just being reckless. I think that'll keep them coming back to you. Cause I have heard of, you know, clients seeing hairstylists, social media, and they're like out being reckless and hanging out with other people and like not wanting to go see them. So. You can lose clients that way. I will say that, um, you know, just be careful what you post on social media because people are looking at that and, you know, whether you agree with their opinion or not, they're coming into your salon and they're spending money, which is ultimately like supporting your livelihood. So, I mean, you can disagree with somebody, but you still have to be respectful of their health and 
how they're viewing the situation and just try to be respectful of each individual person's situation. And don't like super stress about anything. You know, make your clients feel comfortable and at ease. So kind of taking them off topic of COVID and more on topic of, you know, how beautiful their hair is gonna turn out. And they're there ultimately to feel pretty and feel good about themselves. They've been stuck inside for so long. So do your job, you're wonderful at it. Be it the great stylist that you are and just make your clients feel beautiful so that they are distracted from all the noise and craziness that's going on out there. I really hope this video helped in some way. Like, I think that this time can be <clears throat> very stressful for our clients and us. So I think that just kind of taking everything one client at a time, one day at a time, take some deep breaths, do some meditation at the end of your day, like drink some wine, everything's gonna be fine. We're gonna get through this one day at a time. And that's all we can do. We're all doing the best that we can. And I think that just being kind to one another and not being rude or, you know, if somebody accidentally, you know, their mask slips off or, you know, something like that happens, like, just don't be rude. Just, you know, be kind to one another. I think that um, a lot of people are extra sensitive right now. And I think that it's, important to just be mindful of that and that you know a lot of people might have depression disorders and you know maybe being rude to them makes them feel insecure about themselves and more depressed so you just want to be mindful of everyone's mental health and um you know just be kind it's not that hard i promise so i really hope these tips helped Thank you guys for watching and supporting my channel. I'm so excited. I have hit a thousand subscribers. So thank you to those of you who have been with me from the beginning. Um, I am so excited to just continue making videos for you guys and uh, yeah, bring fun, awesome new content every week. Let me know in the comments what has been working for you um, at the salon at this time and yeah, I would love for us to all like share our ideas and give each other insight. Let me know in the comments what you guys think and if you have any other tips for any hairstylists out there. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.